This movie is now named Deranged Granny. This is all about Wendy Malick, who is a psychotic grandma who is willing to go to murderous lengths to spend time with her new grandchildren. This movie was actually not that bad. I was expecting this to be a mediocre lifetime movie, especially after Pool Boy Nightmare. Because thus far we haven't had a all-out terrible lifetime movie. Now, that being said, we are heading in into the Christmas holiday, so I am not going to hate any Hall uh, well, any Hallmark or Lifetime Christmas movie. This movie knows what it is. And it has fun with it. Wendy Malick knows how to play this role in her sleep. She delivers a very fun performance. And a very enjoyable performance in this movie. This movie has a good enough script. A good performance from one of the actors. And she's the reason that you're watching this movie. She's the reason you're watching it because she is Wendy Malick. Wendy Malick is enough to make me go, oh, she's in this movie. I got to see what she does if I come across it. The only reason I'm I'm reviewing is now is because I opened my big mouth saying that I would review Lifetime movies. So, stuck my foot in my mouth and here I am. Deranged Granny is a all right movie. It's a fun one, but it's one that I'm I'm not going to say it's good, but I'm not going to say it's bad either. It is just okay. The cinematography in this movie is passable. The the screen, screenplay is fine. There's nothing truly awful about this movie besides the editing. The editing, when they go to break, just seem, seems like they wanted to just put this movie on DVD and forget about television. I think they just wanted to put this out on a Lionsgate D DVD as a straight-to-VOD slash DVD release in, instead of television. And I could tell that because of the editing. Now, if that w wasn't the purpose, then I completely understand it. But with what I saw here, the editing is very choppy and messy and just all over the place when they go to breaks. And it wasn't like that with Pool Boy Nightmare or Sin Fidelity or any other Lifetime movie. It was only this movie so far. This film isn't awful, but it's not one that you need to see either. It's one to watch because of Wendy Malick's performance. That is the best thing that I can possibly say about this movie. One good performance and a, a decent little script here, but nothing special and very choppy, choppy editing. And at least this one had an ending. At least it had a good conclusion to it. Unlike Pool Boy Nightmare, this one is perfectly fine. It's a pa pa passable TV film. I'm going to give Deranged Granny a C. It is fine. There's nothing tr truly awful about it. The next one I have up for you is Sin Fidelity, which is the brand new Lifetime movie, as I am recording this on fr Friday night before the two new ones uh, are, are out. And I will see you guys for that review up next.